Now, Josh, why do you want these hailstones preserved? Um, good afternoon. Basically, it's because these very large hailstones, and we're talking hail larger than, say, seven, eight centimetres, they're incredibly rare, but they produce a huge amount of damage. So broken roof tiles, lethal to animals, lethal to humans. So we want to um, basically collect them so that we can first better understand how they form in the cloud. Because hailstones themselves are like ice cores. They preserve the conditions in the storm. And secondly, we want to improve our radar and our modelling of hail. Now, at the moment, we're modelling hail as spheres, so round hailstones. But in reality, as you see in the pictures on the screen, hail has got lobes, all sorts of jagged shapes. And if we can model that better, we can better improve our predictions of hail. And so how do you exactly examine them? Yeah, so first off, what we do is we take them into the, to the lab, into a freezer. We perform a 3D scan. So in the future, it doesn't matter if the hail melts. We still have a perfect model of it. Secondly, we cut them open and we look inside the hailstones as well, where they have those onion rings. And these rings are what tell us about how it grew inside the storm. And those onion rings, do they represent life cycles? And how, how does that help you inform uh, weather predictions? Yeah, so it actually, the rings relate to the temperature and the humidity inside the storm as they grew. So we can trace these rings back to the conditions and the altitudes in the storm as they were growing, and then use this information to compare against what we model, what we see on radar to improve those predictions. And how do people get these hailstones to you? Well, first off, safety is paramount because these hailstones are absolutely lethal. So staying well away in a safe place until the storm has completely passed, so lightning, rain, everything. And then head outside with the ruler first, take a photo with the ruler next to the hailstone. Secondly, pick up the hailstone, put it in its own freezer bag and put it in the freezer. So it'll, as long as it's in its own bag, it'll be fine in the freezer for a couple months and we'll come to you to collect those hailstones. So free of charge? Of course, if the hail's big enough, we've gone all the way from Mackay to Melbourne. So it doesn't matter where it is, we'll be there if the hail's big enough. Josh Soderholm, thank you for your time. Thank you, cheers.